lines throughout history very very cool lesson for beginners this is great because you're going to be able to learn all this stuff you're learning all different kinds of techniques but it's not from like trying to learn the same song over and over again or just trying to uh figure out rote repetition stuff you're going to be learning stuff that you are you happen to recognize most likely every single one of these bass lines and it's going to be fun for you so um before i forget please click on those bass tutorials i have right down there in the youtube text box um, they're free, they're not on YouTube, so you can only get them by clicking on that. And um, what's cool about them, I think, and the whole idea behind all this is we're practicing the bass, right? We're learning all kinds of techniques. You're learning um, bass tone, you're learn learning hammer-ons, pull-offs, you're getting your chops up to speed, right? But we're doing it in such a way that's not just rote repetition, right? You're actually learning it through doing something that you love, through music. And that's, that's fun. You know, you're actually basically having fun, but you're practicing at the same time. And you almost don't even know that you're learning something, but you are. You're getting better on the bass, and you're getting more up to speed. You're getting your chops, and you're learning all kinds of techniques and cool stuff on the bass. So click on those tutorials, and I think they'll really help you out. All right, well, let's get you into this. All right, first one is going to be uh, Stand By Me by Ben E. King. This is a great uh, beginning bass line. Uh, very, very simple. Uh, and repeats throughout the whole song. So what you, you're going to do, you're going to start on that uh, seventh fret of the A string. And you're going to go seventh fret of the A, sixth fret of the D, and then two on the seventh fret of the D. See that right there? And then you're going to descend. Oh, you're going to do that twice, actually. So what you're doing there is you're on the D string, seventh, sixth and then fourth fourth then you're going to go to the seventh fret of the a and then two on the fourth fret of the d so if i played that part just until there all together slow do that twice then descend see then i hit the seventh fret of the a and then two on the fourth fret of the um of the d string then you're going to go like this, right? So you're going from the 4th fret of the D, 7th fret of the A, and then 2 on the 5th fret of the A. And then real simple, right? It's kind of happy right from there. You go from the 5th fret of the A string to the 4th fret of the D, and then 2 on the 7th fret of the A string. And then you repeat the first passage that I showed you. And you do it twice. So if I do that all together very slowly, that's the first part. Then descend, seventh fret of the A, two on the fourth fret of the D, one more on the fourth fret of the D. And you're back to the beginning again. Fantastic. Um, I would love for you, if you're a beginner, to try this with uh, using your pinky because it's great. Your hand pretty much stays in the same place when you play it like this, but you are getting your pinky in there and you're learning about keeping in time and you're, uh, you know, getting your chops down with a really recognizable um, sort of uh, bass line. All right, the next one I showed you, really, who doesn't know uh, Dazed and Confused from Led Zeppelin, right? <clears throat> uh, very, very recognizable. 
actually a very easy bass line to play. Uh, it gets a little bit faster, more into the song. Uh, if you want to, uh, take a look at my other Dazed and Confused video if you want to get what he's playing throughout the whole song. Um, but anyway, this, this part right here is really nice because you're using the entire neck pretty much uh, up from the, uh, the, the 12th fret. You're going to hit the open E, and then you're going to hit start on the 10th, and then you're just going to descend by half steps. So you're going to hit the open E, and then you're going to hit the 10, the 9, the 8, and the 7. This sounds a little bit better if you put a little vibrato, which means that you're moving that note, and everybody does vibrato a little bit differently, but you're, you're slightly bending the string back and forth when you hit the note, right, like that. Uh, not too much, you don't want to sound like that. So uh, open E, then you got 10, 9, 8, 7, and then you're going to hit the open E again, and then you're just going to go on the A string again, 5, 4, 3, 2. Just like that. All right, Iron Man. One of the most recognizable uh, riffs in the ever in the history of rock, right? So what you're going to do here is, this is actually another very simple bass line. You're going to start on the 7th fret of the E string. And then you're going to hit the 5th fret of the A. Right? And then you're going to go from the 5th, you're going to hit that again, and then you're going to hit two hits on the 7th fret of the A string. So, so far if I do that slow, right? And then right here what you're going to do, you're alternating between the 5th fret of the D string and the 4th fret of the D string. Start on the fifth, and then you go fifth, fourth, fifth, fourth, fifth, fourth. Right? And then it's back to that fifth fret of the A. For two. And then you hit the seventh fret twice. See now, if I, if I show you that all very slowly. Show it to you with one finger just so you can definitely see where I am. Just like that. Play that, learn that, and every single person will know what you're talking about. Alright, and another one bites the dust by Queen. Super fun bass line to play, I love it. And uh, here you're gonna learn about uh, ghost notes a little bit. What you're doing there is you're going to hit the uh, open E three times. And also, uh, you're going to learn a little bit about muting. That's what it would sound like if I did not mute the string. That's not nearly funky enough. You want to hear, right? So what I'm doing is you're going to hit the open E and then mute it with your hand. Hit it and then mute it. Hit it and then mute it. So, the, so basically, the, um, the notes don't ring together. And then you're going to hit it three times, right? So you got one, two, three, and then three times together quickly. And then you're going to hit the third fret, open, and then the fifth fret. So see, this gets a little bit uh, quicker, a little bit um, uh, quicker on your fingers than the, than the last three that I showed you. So just like that, you're going to hit three, I'm sorry, three uh, open E's. Then you're gonna hit the third fret, opening and the fifth fret. Let's do it slow. And then you're gonna go back five, three, right? And then you're back into it. Right, so five, three, uh, and then you're back into the open again. That's five on the um, E string and three on the E. So that all together slowly. Just like that. This bar here. Now that's a little bit faster. It's a little bit more uh, advanced, but all you need to do is just practice it every once in a while and you will absolutely get it.
it's not that hard and it's actually not that quick it sounds a lot quicker than it is because it has a, a little ghost note in there so what you're going to do is you're going to hit on the third fret of the a string two hits right then you're going to lift your finger off the string a little bit or lift pressure off that string but still have your finger touching the string and you're going to do what's called a ghost note it's going to give you a little click right but it's not going to give you that note you're releasing the pressure a little bit so you can see this that's the note that's without pressure on it that's the ghost note right there so you're going to hit two hits then a ghost note and then another one on the third if i do it real slow just like that faster like the song and then you're going to hit the fourth and then the fifth fret of the a right if i do that slow and then the fifth fret of the d string right see that and then you're back on the third fret of the e just like that and then the next <clears throat> the next uh phrase so what you're doing there is you're doing the same thing you did before except you're not hitting the fifth fret of the d string see that so those together if i do them uh slow faster just like that and at the end of that you have this number here so what you're doing there you have the same rhythm you had up here but you're actually on the um fifth fret of the e string right so you're going five five ghost note five six seven right then you got seven and then three and that brings you back down to it and you move from that seventh fret to the third fret pretty quick so if i do all those pretty slow Just like that. All right, the next we have is uh, Long View by Green Day. This is a fantastic, fun, bouncy bass line and a um, little bit more advanced than the other ones I just showed you, but we're going through the ages and uh, adding more techniques as we go, right? So this is gonna, this is gonna incorporate a hammer on right here. So what you're doing is you're gonna hit the open A string, right? And then you're gonna hammer on to that seventh fret of the A. Now, what I mean by hammer-on is you're gonna hit the open A, and then you're not gonna fret this seventh fret of the A. I'm sorry, you're not gonna pluck the seventh fret of the A. Of course, you're gonna fret it. Um, what you're gonna do is you're going to hit it percussively with your finger. So if I, if I show you what it looks like, this is my plucking finger, my right hand right here. I'm gonna pluck, and this guy does all the work. Bam. Very, very um, forcefully slamming down onto the note, making the sound other than it's a little bit of a different sound but it's very very important to know this technique <clears throat> so you are going to hit the open a hammer on to the seventh fret then you're going to do nine whoops nine seven six on the d string right nine seven six <clears throat> and then you're going to slide from the seventh fret down to the fifth fret Right, so don't take your finger off, just like that. So, so far, see, seventh on the A string, seventh fret to the fifth fret. Slide down to the fifth. And then you're going to hit the seven, six, and then five. Seven of the D, six of the D, and then the fifth fret of the A. So, so far, slide. Right? And then real quick, you're going to do this happy little from the fourth fret 
of the uh, D string to the seventh fret, back to the seventh fret. And your pinky is right there, so that's just like that. So, so far. See that? Fourth fret of the D, seventh fret of the A. <clears throat> and then you're going to hit all the way back up, move your hand all the way back up so you can hit that ninth fret of the, um, of the D string. And you're going to go nine, seven, six on the D. And now here's another technique. This is going to be playing chords, actually. Right? So what you're doing is, is you're letting that uh, D string ring out. And you're playing the D string as well as nine, seven, six of the G string. I'm sorry, nine, seven, six, seven. So it looks like this. Now if I play that all together slowly. There's a chord. So just so you can see what I'm doing here, when I'm when I'm picking these notes, I actually have my the palm of my hand down muting the E and the A string. Of course, you know, if you're just starting out, you might not want to worry about this too much, but it's a good habit to get into to keep your bass as quiet as possible and let those notes that you really want to hear ring out and don't have a bunch of other, you know, a bunch of other sounds going on, which could sound bad like that. So if you just put your hand sort of like the, the palm of your hand over the E and the A string, you'll be able to to pick those without having the, uh, the upper strings here uh, sound out at all. All right, five, count them, five awesome bass lines, really fantastic um, sort of uh, progression for, I know it kind of goes through the ages, that's kind of gimmicky though, really what's happening there is you're learning different techniques as you go through, learning your chops and you're getting it all down and you're playing stuff that's familiar and fun as well. So anyway, I hope you did enjoy that. Uh, it's a neat little lesson. Um, my name is Finbar of Finbar Bass, by the way. Um, if you want to, you could always click on the little clicker box right down there in the YouTube text box to get those um, videos, as I said. Um, you can subscribe to Finbar Bass for more of these tutorials. And I think I have another um, one that has uh, five uh, rock songs in it as well, so you can check that one out. This is probably like the second installation of, of, the, of the compilations. And uh, other than that, have fun with that, yo!